Hey folks, it's Cal again. Do you know anybody who's lost all the keys to their Honda bike uh, that has Hiss ignition security and suddenly find that their bike can't be started and they have to buy a new ECU? Maybe you've even thought like me you would buy a cheap second-hand ECU for an American bike, plug it in and find it doesn't work. The bike won't start. The fuel, the fuel pump won't prime. Well, there is only one difference, my friends, between American ECUs and Australian EC or European ECUs. Australian Euro ECUs only have one 12 volt power feed here, which is the uh, black and white wire. American ECUs have two power feeds. If you don't feed that second power pin, the ECU will not boot up. This is probably a security feature. Now, only an American wiring harness has both the wires. So what do you do? Well, if, like me, you're not using, say, your pair valves, or maybe some wires for your O2 sensors, or something else like that, uh, maybe your flapper valve, any wire on your connectors which you're not using, you can pop out. You can take the connector here, you can actually unclip the connector apart, and you can pop the wires out. So what I've done here is I've taken, uh, well, in my case, a wire and pin from a spare wiring harness I have, an American wiring harness. Uh, you can actually pop that wire out, pop, take the wire and pin, and push it into the correct pin on the white connector, which is, for an American ECU, is the second power line. Then all you need to do is connect that wire into any switched 12 volt power feed. The easiest thing to do would be to wire it into the black white wire to splice it in. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to run a wire directly to the engine stop relay, which is where the black white wire comes from. However, in the meantime, I have a switch circuit uh, and I've just got a fuse in there just in case I have some electrical issues. But yes, you can switch uh, an American ECU into a Euro or Aussie bike. This, I've only tested this on a VFR, but I dare say it will probably work on any Honda uh, bike with PGM FI that has similar hardware to the VFR. And in this case, I'm talking uh, CBR 1000, CBR 600s, all the ECU hardware is quite similar uh, in uh, the same year ranges. Obviously the firmware inside is different. But uh, yeah, if you're having this issue, give it a try. You may find that you can buy a very cheap ECU off eBay. In my case, I paid $120. Bring it home, plug it in, do your little bit of wiring splice job, and your bike starts up.